All right, folks, we're going 939 series truck. Um, this is a 932 AO, nine rebuild truck. Um, condition is no start, no power, or no power, no start, um, no power inside. So basically turn both switches on, no power at all to the gauges, no gauges flicker, no, no anything. Your lights will still work, but you won't have any gauges. First thing to do, you know, even if your lights do work, make sure you got 12, 12 point six volts or better to each battery and 24 volts all together. Um, known condition, as long as your battery hooked up right, connections are all good, it's gonna be your control box. This is an 800 series control box. Um, this is a non-ABS truck, that's why it has 800 series box in it. A little different. Um, you can use a 939 series box on a 939, a O, A1, A2, and you can use a 939 series box on a 800 series. You cannot use this box for the 800 series on a 939 series truck. This one here has an 800 series box because it doesn't have ABS. So a little different. Um, I'll show you the 939 series box internals here in a minute. But no power into it. First thing you can do is smack it with a hammer. Smack it as hard as you can with a hammer and see if it works. Usually it does. But if, if, you're, if you're real hot outside and it goes cold one night, that's what usually happens. So, um, but, you know, worst case scenario, keep you a nice large, this little jump wire, I think it's like, that's like an eight gauge, something like that, nine, seven, six gauge, somewhere in that range. I keep it handy. Plug it into both ports, which will be both big ports on that. Both big ones. Make sure on a small cam, NHC 250 truck, to turn your uh, fuel solenoid uh, combat mode all the way in right there. Screw it all in with your thumb. Um, and then make sure your fuel, only way you turn, turn your truck off that, after that is make sure this is turned all the way back, which you do from the cab, or you can do it right here manually. On an A2 truck, you'll have your fuel shut off solenoid up here. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts in it. Take it off, throw it away. Make sure the rod shut off, um, you know, or just put this on your cab, whatever you want to do. But um, I never use them. They're prone to go problems. But these trucks, once they're running, do not need any more power to run. Once you turn that knob in, no matter what, on the A2 trucks, doesn't matter what it is, they do not need any power to run once they're running. So, once you do that, once you jump that, make sure you're all clear. Fuel shut off solenoid is actually, the fuel shut off lever is open, so if you'll go through it, reach down here, depending on the A2 truck on the passenger side, and just... Get where you're going just pull them both out so make sure you just jump those both those big ones right there with one big wire you bypass the control box it'll get you to safety once the truck is running you can pull this back out no big deal leave it run leave it hanging and once the truck is running it does not need power to run so all right back here we got a 939 series control box that's what this is see that's pretty they kind of spray some crap in here I don't know what it is, but it doesn't do crap. These boxes are not really sealed. Yeah, a little bit, but not much. But the water just can't get out of them. So they build up with water inside of them. This is a pretty good box, actually. Um, this is your ABS solenoid. This is your ABS solenoid. This is your um, continuous solenoid for your running your engine uh, and all your gauges and dashboard. So you can get your Cole RC 64 something. It'll be a uh, Cole Harsey 24063, and the intermittent, I think it's a 24068. Um, I just replace both of them with the 24063. It's not going to hurt it being continuous, um, 600 amp. Um, but, take on how the wires go. Basically, your two big wires, these two black ones down here. So that's those main wires you jump on the truck. They'll come in, feed this solenoid directly with power. This solenoid then switches across, and then it also feeds power to the ABS solenoid that comes on. And the ABS solenoid, you see that white line right here, comes back out. That's actually the, one, the signal wire for the power for the ABS. Um, so you'll have that, and this is your uh, switch for the ABS coming on. So 
Um, you do have an ABS fuse under the dashboard, like a little four amp fuse that you known to blow that can cause the ABS light to go off. These right here can blow out and cause a problem, but if you're gonna rebuild the box, it's quick and easy. Uh, the Cole Harsey cylinders are about 20 bucks. So, but what I would actually do um, is take them, I basically leave it all apart, leave it all together in there. I only undo the top one right here, pull this line off, and then I also take off, um, I take these two right here off if I can. If I if I leave, I usually leave them on. I'll get them out of the truck anyway, or get them out of the box. Sorry, um, a lot of times I rip the rip the box in the truck. Um, just take it off, lay it over on the top of the firewall. But take your grinder, take off those two tabs right there. Um, the holes are actually good enough for quarter inch, twenty or sixteen, whatever they are. Um, bolts go back in it and ground them. Ground them real good. Ground it down, get you a good ground on it, and then. Uh, Spray it with some sealant. Um, as far as when I build these boxes back together, um, they pretty much are water impenetrable when I get done with them. Um, the box does not change. However, I do spray it with a uh, Teflon coating. Let it sit about an hour. And then I spray it with prune seal, um, which is good for trees and stuff. This is the uh, prune seal. Spray it all over. And then I spray it on the outside here, on the edge of it. And your box have a cover. I spray the outside of that box. Make sure this is nice and clean. I spray the inside of this lip here, all the way around. Take a, some little silicone and spray around that. Or take a little silicone and go around the edge all the way around. And then one thing I will do is take a 21 uh, something tiny 1930 second drill bit. I drill one right here, one right here. One right here, one right here. That way, so if any water gets in, it can get out. Um, the prune seal and everything else is waterproof and it's also rust proof, so we'll keep water from getting to anything. But this way, if any water gets in, gets by it, especially if the truck sits for a long time or gets snowed on or the hoods, you know, not always closed, can work that well. Well, but you know, I can't keep it all the way out. But the Teflon spray will keep them eating at the solenoids, and then the prune spray all around it will actually insulate everything, kind of like what this is doing, but not really. This crap in here is nothing but a bunch of junk they spray in here. I don't know what they do with it for, but it's hideous. So, um, give you a good example of water intrusion. Same kind of box. It's just all this crap they had in there. You can see it it's just falling apart in there and just ate everything up, but, you know, it does nothing. So that box can't part by hand. I have to beat, beat it open either. But that's the way it is. So that's it. That's control box for a 939 series truck. Like I said, you can use a 939 series box on an 800 series truck. But you cannot use an 800 series truck on um, a 939. You can if it doesn't have ABS. But if you have ABS, you cannot use it. But an, an 800 series box will actually have four screws in the back. Take them out. A lip around the outside will have lead on it. And you melt the lead only on the bottom side so you can slide all the way out. And I have a little chipboard in there, a black solenoid, and a solenoid similar to this. So I'm going to always replace a solenoid like this. So yeah, a Cole Harsey 24063.